Hello dear student, hello my dear boys and girls, uh, welcome back again. Now we are going to discuss about subsystems, okay, very important three major subsystems of robotics. Okay, if we we'll take a look here, we can find there are three main subsystems. One is sense, another one is plan, another one is act. If you see the picture, you can understand one camera is recognizing the world or recognizing something, some objects, and then a computer is taking the decision, okay, which is plan subsystem. That means which one need to pick or which, which task need to be performed, okay. So, that decision is making by the computer. So, that is plan. And then another robotic arm is picking some object or doing some activities, okay, which means act. So, there are main three subsystems. In this session, we are going to discuss about these main three subsystems. First, we will discuss about how to perceive the environment, what kind of sensors are there, or uh, there are different types. We will discuss about very, uh, we, we have detailed discussion on sensors on our previous one uh, course in 360. So, today we are, going to, we are not going to discuss in deep discussion, we, are, we will just uh, give some preliminary things and then we will discuss about plan subsystem that means the processing subsystems and then we will discuss about few motors and motor actions. Okay? So, let us move into it. You can see here we are renaming the same subsystems as motion, recognition, control. So, in this part we are not going to discuss on uh, sense plan act, we, we are going to discuss about first uh, act, then uh, sense and then plan, okay? that means motion, recognition and control subsystem. So, in motion subsystems you can see there are manipulators, there are end effectors, there are different type of actuators or motor actions or motors and then we will we'll find some uh, uh, transmissions like chain, belt, this kind of gears, this kind of things. Okay? So, at the beginning we are going to discuss about motion part and then we will discuss about recognition that means sensors and how to sense the world and then the control subsystems like how to recognize, uh, how to make the decision. Okay. So, let us start it. So, this is a manipulator you can see. Okay. Manipulator means the upper part of our, uh, of our arm. Okay. If we will consider from this part, this is the manipulator that means the main part which can move to a point, three dimensional space. Okay, so we have, mainly we have six degree of freedom, like if you consider like one degree of freedom, then two degree of freedom, okay. Then there is another joint here, three degree of freedom. And then we have three joints here, one, two, and three, okay. So three degree, here there are three degree of freedom, four and five, and six. So, there are usually there are six degree of freedom on a manipulator. Okay. So, this is one of the most important issue like to reach a point to work in a uh, working space, how many degree of freedom we, we need. Okay. That is very important. Maybe in some purpose or in some case, maybe two degree of freedom should be good enough. Okay. But in some purpose, maybe we need six degree of freedom. Maybe in some purpose we need 8 degree of freedoms. Maybe in some purpose we will need 10 degrees of freedoms. Okay, so it depends on the application or it depends on the situation or uh, which things, which, which task we are going to perform. So that is the part of manipulator. And you can see here there are some examples of manipulator. One is, uh, one manipulator is using for fixing some fixing some heavy equipments on a car or some heavy industry and the next one is uh, uh, reaching in a goal okay six degree of freedom so you can see here one uh, with one I, I, I am with a one, one manipulator where it has six degree of freedom and there, there is no end effector of this uh, arm okay and the guy behind the arm was the uh, builder of this manipulator okay so this is the robotic arm. So, when we will say robotic arm, that means a manipulator. Okay? Manipulator is nothing but a robotic arm. Now, let us think about or talk about end effector. End effector means the 
last part of our manipulator, like our fingers. Okay, there are different type of fingers, there are different way we can catch, there are different way we can work. Okay, like sometimes we can cut something like for uh, uh, sewing, we need different type of finger. For grabbing a glass, we need different type of finger. Okay, for that means for doing different type of or like for uh, pressing a key, we need different type of finger. So for different purpose, we can have different type of fingers. Here you can see there are three, four different type of fingers are showing here. One is on the first one that is that was closing in this way and opening on that way. Okay, so if we want to uh, collect something like collect some uh, some some uh, materials. So we can just use this kind of robotic arm, okay, which have 90 degree of, uh, 90 degree uh, uh, rotation. Okay, so this is a very very effective uh, indefector if we want to collect a lot of things together to clean something or to move something. Okay, second one is very strong close and opening indefector. Okay, like if you want to uh, keep something or if you want to uh, take something then two fingers is the good option okay so second one is the is for taking two things third one is also like that but here it's using two motors two separate motors on the second in second picture that means in picture b it has one one single motor and it's uh, picking or it's grabbing one thing okay simultaneously two fingers simultaneously but on the third picture, we can see there are two different motors. So if we want to uh, control two motors differently or uh, different control system, then we can use the third one. Okay. And the fourth one is, th th this is a popular one. This is very simple to implement, but this is not so strong. Okay. This is also for grabbing some items, but this is not so strong. Okay. And here there are some very professional indefectors. Okay. Those are available in the market. Okay. If you if you see uh, the first one and the third one that came from a robotic company okay, there is a company the name is robotic okay so robotic company they sell the uh, uh, items okay the first one third one uh, uh, i don't know about the fourth one but yeah they sell the first one and the third one and these are expensive very expensive we we had tried to collect one uh, three finger robotic indefector and they were asking maybe how much as I can remember three lakh taka. Okay, so only this finger type in end effector is three lakh taka. Okay, that means I, I requested for some discount and for university work for research purpose, but they didn't give me any discount. Okay, that means they have a good market for it. Okay, and this is very, very interesting. This is very, very good. And in, in uh, Mongol theory, we are going to use the first one. Okay, so there are different type of indefectors. The lower one is just simulating our arms. Okay, so first one, the in, in part A, it's a gripper type, and in part B, it's anthropomorphic type. Okay, so that means the human finger types. Okay, the B ones are finger type. So there are huge market and there are huge applications of fingers. A number of human and robots are building, and they are trying to uh, build a fingers like human being okay for information human beings fingers are very very effective very flexible wonderful creation of god okay wonderful creation of allah whatever you say okay so our finger is excellent our end effectors are excellent okay we have we, ha we have three joints you can see for every finger one two three three joints and those are very flexible so we can do a lot of tasks okay we can do a lot of things okay uh, i think uh, monkey and some other animals also have these kind of fingers, but most of the animals don't have these kind of fingers. Their indefectors are not so flexible as human. Okay, so that's why uh, when we want to build something excellent, then we look to the nature. Okay, what is inside the nature? So people are trying to build an indefector like human, human, human fingers. Okay, there are also some uh, details of these fingers. Okay, on left side there are some other and effectors, uh, many, yeah, yeah, types, gripper types, and uh, right side there are some uh, end effectors like human arm, type, human fingers type. Okay, so we we have presented or we have we have shown some examples here so that you can understand, so that you can uh, 
uh, figure out what type of end effector we should use for different purpose. Okay. Now let us discuss about some transmission. 